Thanks team. As you saw, our small business owners love the chamber. And what's not to love? For 70 years, the Plymouth Area Chamber of Commerce has immersed itself in the community, creating programs and initiatives that benefit and support the businesses in our region. Julie Thompson invited Executive Director Amy Naples via Zoom to discuss what is new and next for the Chamber in 2022. I'm so pleased to have today Amy Naples, the Executive Director of the Plymouth Area Chamber of Commerce. Welcome, Amy. Hi, Julie. How are you? Long so great to see no you. Long time no see in person. <laughs> I know. It's been too long. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. Let's talk about, since the Chamber is all about businesses, big and small, what were your big takeaways for 2021 and how, how did your businesses uh, fare during this year? So despite obviously the hurdles, challenges, our businesses fared very well. Um, they, you know, they are so resilient, they are strong, they, um, they collaborate, they work together, and we have just an amazing business community here on the South Shore that supports one another, um, but certainly our residents do as well. And it wouldn't be without the support of the community and all the organizations and partnerships um, that the businesses wouldn't have fared as well as they did. Don't get me wrong, they've had some challenges. They're you know overcoming some major hurdles and setbacks, but um, they're strong. They are um, super inspiring and positive and they are looking for a great 2022 ahead. What are some of the typical things that the businesses contact the chamber for support with or help with? Well, that varies, certainly. Um, I, I like to think that we are very um, open chamber of commerce. I have an open door policy. People can stop by and see me anytime. They can reach out to me at any time and I'm willing to help them with anything, um, whether it's of course, connecting with fellow business owners, um, networking, health insurance questions, um, referrals, but also um, grant opportunities. Um, we certainly helped over the past year one-on-one -on -one with many businesses with those grant applications, the PPP loans, um, and just communicating the different opportunities out there for um, the businesses. But there's nothing that we're not afraid to do. And we have a small but very mighty team that um, is very passionate about our business community and willing to lend a hand however we can. So something we've learned as a team is we have to go with the flow. Things are constantly changing. I think everybody has learned that over the uh, the course of the pandemic, but um, looking ahead, um, it's it's challenging, it's nerve wracking. You don't know if you're making the right decision or not. What about 2022? What are some of your big initiatives, programs, things that you want to accomplish and things that you know you're going to get done? So 2022, I love a fresh start. We're excited for the new year. Um, as a team, we always kind of come together put together some um, priorities, some objectives that we want to accomplish. Um, first and foremost, we know that um, workforce is a challenge. That is certainly a priority for the chamber and how we'll be addressing that. Um, again, things are constantly changing. We're trying to keep up with that. So we're not entirely sure how we are addressing that. Um, it is step by step. It is a really big nut to crack as well, but that's certainly something in our forefront um, as well is of course keeping people engaged and connected our members want to be networking they want to be um, meeting other new colleagues and um, continuing events regardless in person or virtual how that may be um, continuing those so our support local initiatives as well is always a top priority especially um, because of the climate and um, keeping our local businesses afloat and supporting them we have cash mobs each month um, where we all gather and um, mob a business to spend money at their uh, location it, it obviously boosts sales rings the register and then of course um, you know gain some awareness as well for that business so and then of course our um, our gift guides and restaurant guides for the different holidays. That's a primary focus for us. Um, we really also want to be the go to for important business related and relevant information um, for people to feel that they are can come to us a trusted source to find that information. That's, of course, so important, especially during these times as we're 
in recovery efforts and um, the pandemic is still unfortunately continuing at many times I was saying post COVID, but um, we're still very much there. Um, another, of course, um, important initiative is our um, Plymouth One Fund and yeah. supporting that. We do have a great fundraiser planned for March, um, Dancing with Our Stars. So local business owners will be competing for the title. Um, and we think that's going to be a really fun <laughs> fundraiser for that. Those are always know, fun to um, watch. <laughs> Yes, so fun. Um, so that will be an in-person, of course, dance-off yeah. competition, working with um, Fred Astaire Dance Studio okay. of Plymouth here. And um, the dancers will be trained and uh, they will be performing a choreographed dance, which we're very excited about. And um, we're hopeful that will be a great fundraiser for the Plymouth One Fund because we know um, we are receiving applications businesses yeah. still very much do In need the financial support yeah. and um, that that needs to continue. Um, but of course, we want to continue all of our signature events as well. Our Bark in the Park Waterfront Festival, um, you know, all of those community yeah. events that are so important to us, Hometown Stroll, yeah. as well as our signature chamber events like our legislative breakfast, our business expo, our empowering women's panel. Um, so. We are moving forward with all of our events. Last year, we were able to squeak those all in um, at the later part of the year, all between about the end of August and December. Um, yeah. But we were happy to report that we only missed one event. Yeah, you were one really event busy. Was, um, yeah, that was that was pretty amazing for the, for 2021, considering all the ups and downs, ins and outs, opens and closes. That you did everything but one event that you that you've always done. That was just incredible. Let me just circle back to you said workforce is, is a big uh, is a big issue. I know I go by restaurants sometimes they're closed because they have no one to work. Um, this this we have never seen this ever. We've never seen this in, in, in our history. What can you what does the chamber what can you do? Do you work with legislators? How do you how do you help and support businesses for this? Absolutely. So we do work with our partners, um, Mass Hire, other um, state agencies, our local legislators. Um, we need to advocate for those pro-business initiatives. Certainly, stay informed of all of that, all those um, opportunities. You know, monitor the issues. Um, try to connect people, yeah. um, especially with the organizations like Mass Hire, make them informed, um, make the businesses informed of those um, great opportunities to connect with people who are looking for employment. And right. of course, even just connecting employer to employer. Um, so there's there's so much that we, we will be doing. And um, I know, again, working with our local legislators and advocating on our local businesses is, is most important and make sure that funds are available to help support our local businesses with those workforce challenges. And I know they feel, the, they, they feel very comfortable knowing that you and your team are behind them. Um, that's very obvious from, from the commentary that you receive uh, and your team receives. So Amy, um, 2022, let's, let's have this be better than 2020 or 2021. Um, let's, uh, here's to a healthy, happy, prosperous, um, successful year for all of our businesses, big and small, and all of our residents and all of our uh, organizations. So thank you for joining me and um, I'm sure we'll be talking again. Absolutely, thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julie and Amy. There's always a ton going on with the Plymouth Area Chamber of Commerce. To stay in the loop, bookmark their website. If you've enjoyed this video by The Local Scene, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.